Alright, motherfuckers, we live. Hey! Hi! Hello, guys. This is Shanice. This is Shanice. I know. <laughs> this is Janae. Hi. You met her before. It's her first time. Do, 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 do. I did a cameo on your channel. But you wasn't like. I was an idiot. Yeah, like for the whole duration. Yeah. And then you guys can't see D back there, but if you see some. Shuffle it up. But if you see a shadow moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a shadow for me. Yeah. Go be armed. All right. All right. So for today's video, I have scenarios, and I'm going to like give my opinion, react to them, kind of do like what would Tiana do in this predicament. All right. WWTD. WWTD. Period. So let's get into it. All right. So the first one, I low key want one of my female friends, but I know I'm a dub. Would you still shoot your shot or not? Start. Yeah, you miss every opportunity. Like you miss every shot you don't take. So okay. I mean, the worst thing in life isn't rejection. Like if you just grow from it, or you can either bounce back. But if you know she don't like you, baby, <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Go <laughs> for me. Go ahead. What do you? What do you think? I mean, you do. No, it's the same thing. If you know she don't like you, then. Yeah. If there's like a 17% chance, go ahead, take it. You know? I'm but if you know it was a negative 42, boy, <laughs> leave it alone. So, my oh my take God. on it, it depends. Like, I don't like mingling, like, stuff like that with friends. Because one, that's probably going to fuck up your whole friendship. So, it's like, do you value that person? If you actually value her mm -hmm. as a friend then don't do it mm -hmm. because what if you guys do it like she's actually into you and then it ain't work out so now y'all got a tainted ass situation shit mm -hmm. that shit is gonna rub onto your relation well your friendship mm -hmm. and i don't know but if you think there's probably an idea that she might why not all right so not this follow-up question <laughs> okay don't you feel like every good relationship starts with, starts with a like, good friendship foundation Mm, that is also very true but I feel like because I'm usually like that I like to build a friendship with someone <laughs> if I actually genuinely want to be with them but I can't do that like I still can't look at you as just a friend so you know what I mean so like if I'm if I'm building a friendship with you mm -hmm. but I'm like this is just my friend mm -hmm. then it's a duck gotcha. but if I actually like someone mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and build a foundation but in the back of my head I know that I kind of want to fuck you yeah. so you know, they said best friends, right? No, they said one um, one of my two girlfriends. Oh, oh okay. okay, yeah. So it's that's not, a little different. Never that mind. is. So if it was like best friends, right? That's, that's I. I I'm pretty sure everyone has had that situation before. Like right. Right. best friends, either you like them, they like you. Oh, it just don't work. <laughs> Same thing. I was like, er. <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> Oh, of course, I work for co ed best friends. Yeah. She's okay, that's not. Oh, oh nah. never mind. Once okay. you get that Maybe best just... friend, you is my friend. Yeah, people think, but they don't think like that because I know a lot of people. My family, that's nasty. That's you know, nasty. but there's a lot of people I know who like fuck their best friends. Mm -hmm. And like, it's a pattern. <laughs> yeah. It's a pattern. Like, when you're still friends with someone, mm -hmm. you know them so well. So, like, with me, I, I don't know. Right. I think I know you too well, and there's certain shit I know that I don't like, and I would not put up with. I know all your secrets. You know? <laughs> like, I know, I what, know what you did in your last relationship. Exactly. I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I don't need not that in my life. Not to Right. <laughs> then that was a good first question. That was. So, the second one, this girl says, my dream career is starting, and I have hella anxiety. First, what would I do? Right? Congratulations. That's on that. grow I mean, starting something new is never comfortable. You gotta get out your comfort zone. To grow. Yep. I feel like me and Janae was just having this conversation. We really yeah. were. Yeah. Stop. Don't limit yourself. Like, push for it. Because you can do so much things with your life. Like, yep. But change right. is inevitable. 
And sometimes elevation requires separation. Like you gotta separate yourself from what you know. Yeah. And the things that are around you, even people. Like and you just gotta Preaching. do your own shit. And if it doesn't scare you, your goal isn't big enough. Oh. <laughs> If it does not scare you, your goal isn't big enough. I know, because if it's a small goal, then it would be too easy to get. You wouldn't even have anxiety. I'm going to hit that on a pillow. That's okay. <laughs> not on that a pillow. pillow. But honestly, it's, it's normal. We all have anxiety. Like, I always have anxiety every time I have to get up here and talk to y'all. Like, mm-hmm. it's just... YouTube was a big step for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah honestly girl do it if it's your dream career it's gonna come it's gonna come mm-hmm. naturally mm-hmm. just do it embrace it that's it be okay you dare you got it girl so this was like a two-part question i remember the other part the other um question mm-hmm. so the other question was what happens if you keep having dreams about one of your friends the type of dreams was not um, clarified, but I'm pretty sure we all probably know what kind of dreams it is. Mm-hmm. And then the follow-up questions were, what's your perspective on dreams? And like, do you think they come true or whatever? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel like my dreams, I have a lot of deja vu. Like, mm-hmm. I, they actually happen. It probably not like the next day, but it happens like months after dreams are like many manifestations or yeah. like god's way of showing you what you need to see and you interpret it on your own no, story time me um, <laughs> i used to be friends with this girl and i had this recurring dream i don't know what it was but my fear is snakes I, baby snakes big snakes it don't matter <laughs> garden like, snakes and i was like we was chilling in my room and a big ass anaconda came oh, out of nowhere Came out of nowhere and just started wrapping its shit around my neck and squeezing me. I can't yeah. move. Plus, I'm so scared. So I'm like, you can't I'm do nothing. Out. And she's just standing there, just looking at me. Excuse me. I woke up in the middle of my night. I'm like, that's not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That, and it, it, it was real. But I like it, not, and then the snakes, and then yeah, and, like laid it down on the line. It realized you know, she, her action showed up. She was not my friend. And okay, so what would I do if I was having dreams about a friend? Watch okay, can I give you a different category? Okay, like inappropriate dreams. Like, no, I'm saying yeah. I'm guessing it's like inappropriate. Like I shouldn't be having these dreams about a friend. Um. <laughs> I don't know because I have just never been through that situation yeah. that I felt like. Oh my god! Honestly, if it was like, damn, maybe I'll start. I'll probably stop hanging out with the person till I got my dreams together. Mm-hmm. Like because, mm-hmm. it's like, what can you do? Like you just be trying to go to sleep and then boom, the yeah. person's in your head. So maybe if you stop thinking, yeah. being around them, mm-hmm. but also you can also just bring it up. But then that's also going to be weird, especially on how the yeah, conversation the context, might yeah. go. And the context of the dream. That too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I just feel like dreams mean something. So it's either it's either this person is right for you and you just don't know it yet. Mm-hmm. This person likes you and that's just the way. Or what if they like you? What if the person having dreams likes the person they dream about? Yeah. Okay. Then they... I mean, the dream is just enhancing their feelings for them. Yeah. Or it could be a subconscious or unconscious Ooh. feeling that they have Ooh. about that person. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a fact. Yeah. They probably don't even know they like them. That's probably why they're having the dream. Gracias. This is it. Some honey and crayon, y'all. Yeah, okay, bitch. <laughs> we lying. Not after the fucking <laughs> last night. <laughs> it's, just, it's just juice. Oh, right away, we're in Georgia for my birthday. Uh-huh. We'll make it in later on home. Definitely will. My ex still has my name tattooed on him. Well, that's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you better not have his name tattooed on him. That was right? his choice to put permanent ink on him. Cover it Unless up. you got money to laser Cover your shit off. I just feel bad. I don't, okay, I don't feel bad, but I just, it's kind of weird. The next girl you're dating. Hell yeah. It's like, you're not gonna cover that shit up. Exactly. Like, we getting deep into it. Still has my name tatted. So I'm guessing the fact that you said still 
that probably mean y'all had stopped talking or broke up a mm-hmm. while ago for you to use still. You know how we all have like that forever bay? Yeah. That's they probably forever days. Yeah, I get that, but I'm not gonna tap my forever bay. Yeah, no, I'm not tatting nobody. Look, how many tattoos do you have? I have four. Okay. What about you, T? What's your two? I have nine. And ain't none of them and nobody name. This one is spicy. Ooh. Which one? The one <laughs> to the right? <laughs> oh, go ahead. You didn't hear me that. What would T do if the guy you were fucking with hit? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what would T do if the guy you were fucking with hit that he was having a baby? Oh, and he's your ex. <sighs> this is how. This is this is way too common. That's a fact. This is way too common. Actually, I know someone that that happened to. Me. Yeah. 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 What would I do? Yeah. Black. But it's like, what can you do? And also, what is the timeline? Like, from the situation I know of, my friend, she met this guy. And they were, like, dating for three months. And then some girl out of nowhere... Well, ex, whatever she was. Oh, she she got hit with the uh, I'm coming to you as a woman. Type of text? Something like that. Mm. Mm. She went to her job. Uh, oh. In person, face to face, and was like, we gotta talk. Please. Bitch, don't pull up on me at my job. I just want to money. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, wait, she's pregnant. That's who the hell? She was just like, I have to tell you something. They had that conversation. Of course, you know, when she got home, she pressed him, asked, like, is it true? Like, what's happening? And, and yeah. I, I mean, they're not together no more, but. I feel like after that, you can't. Like, we can't really. It would be different if you told me straight up from the jump. Yeah. This yeah. is what it is. I'm not really with this girl, but you're about to have a baby. So that I can make my own decision going forward, but I, yeah. I still want to fuck with you. You done wasted three months of my time. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, like the person Jesus. you were fucking with hid that he was having a baby. And, then and you, first of all, why would you? Why are you hiding it? Aren't you proud that you had a baby? Yeah, a lot of them are not. Well, that's his fault. He should have wore a condom. He should have made sure she was on birth control. Like, Hello. Should have pulled out. Something. I'm just after this. Not it's like I know it's hard to get pregnant, but it's also so easy to get pregnant. It's easy as fuck, bitch. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. damn. And the guy, from the guy's perspective, he he know he did wrong, but he don't even see like the real length of it because you broke my trust. You mentally scarred me. Now you're ruining me for the, the next mental person. Mentally scarred me. You feel exactly. me? Like now the next person gotta work double hard just to like break down my trust wall. Yeah. <laughs> I've been scarred and all of this shit in the past. And it's like, ugh. That nigga really played in both. Mm hmm. Sure did. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So yeah, that street. person would have been a dog. I would have probably cursed him out and that would have been it. That's it. Yeah. You, got no, right, you got no respect for me. What if this is two years in? This is your man for two years. Chidi got a next girl pregnant. You didn't find out till she about to bust. I'm going crazy. Damn. Breaking car Like nine months. No, I'm not that type of crazy. I'm not breaking nobody windows or nothing. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not crazy like that. But like, that's just like, that's just so disrespectful. You got no regards. Cheating is one thing, but cheating and getting someone pregnant? Like my nigga, you didn't, you wasn't even care. You didn't have enough respect. I'm not even going through that. It's just like you fucked her raw and then you came to <laughs> me. If you cheat, you know, you have the decency to pull out. Just don't get the bitch pregnant. Especially you gonna get a nice cuss out. I'm gonna send you some invoices oh, because I'm you wasting my time. Wait, wait. I'm but invoicing niggas now. No, no, no. Let me, I, gotta, I gotta read this before I fucking. <laughs> because. When I was with a friend of mine, the night was on her. Her card wasn't working, and my shit wasn't working too. So she called her boyfriend to pay. Wait, say that again. Okay, okay, we're gonna do that. Was a roller coaster. All right, so this person went out with a friend. Okay, this person is a guy. He went out with a friend of his. 
I don't know if it's a real friend. I don't know if it's a... I'm trying to fuck you for it. Right. Right? She said that the night was on her. She was going to pay. Her card wasn't working. And boom. His card wasn't working either. So, I mean, I guess they didn't want to wash dishes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she got her boyfriend to come pay. Come. Is that, I don't know. Cash up. Some. Some. Apple okay. pay. So, Apple pay. I'm going to put myself in his shoes. Okay. How can I say this and okay, not be that. rude? Wait, okay. Can we also like set it a little bit? I'm so confused. Did the boyfriend know that she was going out with a friend? I mean, I would fucking hope so. She paid. I think it's just a friend. friend. It's probably the just boyfriend. a friend. Thing. Yeah, it's probably just a friend friend. Alright. If it's just literally, if it's literally a platonic friendship, like we get out just kicking it and it's some inconvenient shit, like you don't got no cash. His no, car, wait, both cards are not working. I, I'd be like, you know, like, babe, can you please come and help us out? Like, I don't want to judge people, but even if someone says they got me, I'm bringing always. Jeanette, you took the words out of my mouth. But I always. just said I was just going to say that, and then you cut me off. I, I never like, want to be in a situation. Okay. She said it. <laughs> where even if they got me for dinner, anything can happen between me leaving the dinner place and yeah. me getting home. I still need to have some type of money. Yeah. Little but like, don't get me wrong, this time that I've been broke as shit, bitch. And one person can have stay and that next one runs to the ATM or something real quick. Yeah. That, I mean, you, she must have a really cool boyfriend. Because <laughs> I don't know what boyfriend gonna allow his girlfriend to go out with a guy friend and then have to come pay. I don't know. She, he need a fucking trophy because he boyfriend of the year. She boyfriend of the year. <laughs> She really better. <laughs> she better suck his dick tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad, but like, no. She better do backflips, like, bro. She probably would not come pay for her, him and the girl. That's a fact too, because mm. I'm pretty sure she would. Y'all, no, no, you're fucking stupid. If my boyfriend went out with like, another woman and he had no money and want me to pay for another girl, no. Listen, baby, not, I got you. You go wash some dishes. That's it. I'm not helping. Depends, but it depends. It's like if I actually met one of those friends and like we're actually genuinely cool, maybe. But then this also brings me back to I was watching Aaliyah's face video and she does this what would Aaliyah do a lot? That's mm-hmm. why I got the idea from. Mm-hmm. It was something similar of this. And she was saying that I would I wouldn't know if you guys agree with her. Mm-hmm. Same thing about your boyfriend, he goes out with another girl. Of a girl, you know, that is his friend. Would you allow your boyfriend, husband to go out with another girl by herself? I have to know that. Yeah. That's like, if yeah. I went out, like certain things. Yeah. yeah. If I went out, my boyfriend would have to know. Like, who is this? Because she basically, she was like, that's a fucking dub. She said, no, we can go out together. But yeah. she's like, why do you need to go out with them by yourself? Like, why do you feel why like do, I need to be alone? my invitation. Yeah, like, why do you need to be alone? Baby. And I, I, you know, when she said it, I was like, maybe she's, I was like, I think she's dragging it a little bit. But I'm like, why don't I kind of think about it? I don't know. It's not that I don't trust my man. I don't, I don't trust, trust these women. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. I do not right. trust that. I don't know her intention. I don't know if she got a thing exactly. for him. I, I don't. And people always look at what you got. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know if I can actually react to this. I didn't read it, but she said, this person sent me a paragraph. So I was messing with this guy for months. <laughs> months, bro. Months. <laughs> I didn't know he had a girl. Nigga kind of hinted it one day after months of fucking. So I was curious to find out who it was. Because why not, right? Her name is the same name as me. Shorty said he's a real nigga I know. Wasn't even mad. Respectfully, he played it so good. I just dubbed it, but toxic me misses <laughs> He's smart. Wait, no. I'll tell you that much. That, I tell you that, he's smart. I tell you that much. I think he will never, smart. You would never expect it. Unless so you don't forget your name. Two, or the only way you're going to find that shit out is mm-hmm. if you want snooping as well. Like, unless, or he was giving you some type of energy that he got somebody else. Because that's some really smart shit to fuck with someone that's got the same name as another person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
My thing is, us females, we are FBI agents, yes. detectives, CSI, crime, yes. law and order, everything. <laughs> so what do you mean you didn't know? <laughs> like, there was no Instagram pictures of them? No, but... I'm, Niggas be hiding shit. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Cause Cause I, some men are really good at hiding it. Hello. Like, if, if, if he's with you and he's not picking up his phone, texting nobody yeah. else, if he doesn't... If his phone never rings, I mean, never rings or nothing. That's kind of like a low key red flag. Cause how your phone don't but, ring at all when we together? But like, mm, some guys be like, no, don't call me. <laughs> they the might girl, be like, don't okay, text me only, don't call me. Like unless you're going through his text messages, guys could hide so. We're not gonna talk about it on this topic. Go Especially watch if my he story got a job. If he has a job, you already know. If he's going to work or not. If he doesn't have a job, yeah. he's home all day. <laughs> he could be doing a lot. Okay, what would I do? Um, like I said, like well, like you said, I would have dumped him. Um, he would have got cussed out real fucking good. Real fucking good. Months of fucking... Months. That's months of getting lied to. He had all on a schedule. That hurts. But yes, girl, don't go back to him. Keep him in the keep him in the garbage. No remixes. No, you say this. No remixes. No remixes. I can't even say that. I mean, What's the shit. best advice you can give to get out of entanglement or situation? I'm just like, do it. I don't care. I don't care how good. I don't just do it. I don't care how good the sex is. I don't care how good that nigga eating your pussy, but you better get the finger ring. Like something. You better get a vibrator. There's way too much shit out here that you can do to get yourself off. Especially if it's just about sex. Like, I did not get it. Sometimes it's emotional. You really want to speak to someone, but just. You gotta think of yourself. Like, why do I need to put myself through this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my sister is dating this good for nothing man. Hmm. Well. <laughs> he has kids, baby mommy drama, baby mama drama, mm. and he's weighing her down. She's young and in love. I've tried young? to talk. Yeah. Young and in love. I tried talking to her, but she not really hearing me. How do I approach her the next time I talk to her? I don't want her to be the fourth baby mom. What do I do? Yeah. Should I take this or should I? Use it? What? The first answer. No, you had to take it if you want. What is it? People not gonna learn. Uh, who don't learn must, must feel. <laughs> All right. That's it. If she not ready to move. She, no, nothing in this world is gonna make her move until Inside. she's ready to do it. Until her so ass get hurt. If she become the fourth baby mother, it is what it is at this point. She'll learn after the baby bond. <laughs> like. She, just talking about this too. yeah again it has like a sister you genuinely want better for mm -hmm. her but someone has to want better for themselves mm -hmm. yeah. you know like personally i'm not trying to be no one second third fourth i might even try to be a baby mother if i have a child i make sure i'm a wife mm -hmm. oh i put the wrong no thank you, <laughs> oh, you like <laughs> what nikki said and pushing it on his babies till he buy the rock. Ooh. Like, come on. Ooh. Let's go. There's okay. too much baby mothers out here. Not Be a wife. Damn. Honestly, you gotta let her. She gotta figure that out on herself. Yeah. You can't force her. You can't You can't do nothing. Only thing you can do is be supportive. Because you want to preach to her, you can tell her everything in the book. To your that's, kids turn black and blue. And that shit gonna go. <laughs> nope. You're right. She's yeah. literally just gonna have to get hurt or something, unfortunately. But that's, that's what it takes. Sometimes mm -hmm. you do have to get a little hurt to, to uncloud your fucking brain. Everybody got their own lesson. Yeah. And still, at the end of the day, don't be like, I told you so. Yeah, don't do that. Don't be like, I told Just you be so there type for of thing. Yeah. Like, yes. Every single time she get her heart broken, you would with the wine and the ice cream. Like, yeah. It's all right. Let it out, baby. Be like, but I hope you learned your lesson. Yes. You know, you can slide, That's it. slide, slide that in a little bit with, I hope you learned your yep. lesson. <laughs> Just. Watch the like, just the red flags, y'all. The red, red flags, flags be there. there. That's and it. we be and like we... Ray Charles. <laughs> 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 no. Little kid. No. Dead no. ass. Oh, God. some people are just hard headed. That's it. And exactly back to what you said. Those who can't hear must feel. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's it. Alrighty, second to last one, guys. My sex drive is down because I gain weight. My man doesn't mind, but I've become so self-conscious and I can't seem to be motivated in the gym. So I can be like nasty, confident, freaky while naked. She don't really want it. 
<laughs> Damn, bitch. What, what would you do? Make do with the weight, or can you give me tips? Okay. First of all, have sex in the dark. Hello. I Put the couples on. You said Janae. Janae. Sit in the Janae. I thought it's or get all the time. I per- not all the time, but I personally like sex, I like sex in the dark. I mean, me too, but like, if you're a couple, you're gonna fuck whatever you wanna fuck. That's true. That's get true. a sexy that's light. Get, to, get those little red layers. Okay, okay, okay get okay. a black light. I'm um, so creative. I'm not saying I don't know this man personally. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm not saying. No, he but, said he doesn't mind. That she gave but me. like he should do things to, to, motivate to motivate you to make you yeah. feel sexy, Seriously. like to emphasize the parts of your body that you think that you aren't happy with. Like yeah. he should be helping you. Mm-hmm. Also, does he know that you feel, feel this way? Yeah. Feel this way. Exactly. If he doesn't, know. exactly. He probably doesn't. If he doesn't know, talk to him and be like, "Oh, babe, you know, I haven't been feeling my best." Yeah. And job, it's his job to make you feel. Sexy and desire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I'm not saying he's a bad guy because some guys really don't know how to make their woman feel good, but Ooh. he should try his best. Yeah. To make you feel like you know, like to make that you feel bitch. your best. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. hey, go make him kiss your stretch marks or whatever <laughs> areas you don't like your little imperfections. You know, right. start off with a nice massage and rub the places that you feel mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Start kissing you. Trust me, you'll get in the mood. Mm-hmm. And if you communicate, sorry to cut you off. No, then if he communicates know. with, if you communicate with him, he's gonna start giving you more confidence, telling you how beautiful yeah. you are as a, a good boyfriend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these niggas don't got <laughs> Okay, so now, <laughs> then for the second half, honestly, I'm gonna be a little, yeah, a little bit, girl. If you want something on, if you want to change something about yourself that you don't like, you have to do it. Facts. If you feel like you gained too much weight and you don't have a sex drive, they girl, go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know how hard it is to go to the gym, mm-hmm. which is why I got a trainer. Because my ass would be like, yeah, I'm going to work out today. Bitch, I'm asleep. Like, no. I have somebody else motivating me, like, keeping me on a schedule. I need to get up. I need to do this. I need to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, you just have to, if you really want it, girl, just work for it. You just have to do it. Find a way. You ain't got to work out five days out of the week, but just find a day. Find one that works for you. Yeah. And also, I'm not saying, like, stop eating, but, you know, eat right, and that also that too, helps. That definitely helps. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to work out. Just eat right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I haven't been eating right because I like fucking food too much. I'm already thick the juicy crab. You know? I'm telling you. Like, I like me some motherfucking steak. So, <laughs> just go to the gym. And honestly, when you actually go to the gym, you're going to feel so motivated by people that's there. And if, it, if you think it's hard to go to the gym by yourself, find a friend. Because in that way, when you feel like you don't, like, when you don't want to go to the gym, maybe she does. And she's she telling you, bitch, get up. We going to the gym. Or, or they, vice versa. They have some good home workouts on YouTube. Just get you a little workout mat, clear out some space. That's and nobody too. will watch you. Nobody will judge you. It's just yeah. you in the YouTube video and you're good. Go to the gym with your man. That's that too. Go to the gym with your man. Too. Like, babe, we about to go and work out. You looking a little flabby. I'm just playing. No, like, you know, just like. Real shit. You just do like, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, or you can walk. Mm-hmm. I know it's getting a little Go some jobs. Time, but you could walk in the park. That That is good for your um, weight loss, too. A little 20 minute, 30 minute walk. Go and jog. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Hey, y'all, we back. My battery died. Regular YouTuber Back-end shit. Me better. Oh, my God. So last one. Listen carefully. <clears throat> I found out my old friend of mine is pregnant to my ex boyfriend. She hits me up here and there, but she doesn't know that I know. She claims she hooked up with some guy and got pregnant, but his sister recently told me it's my ex's child. I don't care for him, but it's the principal. Do I act dumb along with her and pretend I don't know this information, or check her for being a grand? Check bitch? her. Check that bitch. Hey. Regardless yeah. if that's not like your close friend or Check. regardless if you don't give a fuck about the ex. The fact she hit you up still like, hey. Yeah, like, girl. She's guilty already because mm-hmm. she's hitting you up. Mm-hmm. Because and the fact that if she's really your friend, I don't care how close of a friend you are, acquaintance. If y'all still. are cool enough to have conversations and talk, she should feel comfortable telling you who the baby daddy is. Mm-hmm. Exactly. People should be, well. Never mind, I'm not even gonna say that. I was gonna say and people should be proud the of the baby daddy. No, the friendship really is over after that. Cause 
that's that's grimy as fuck. Because it's like, I wouldn't even yeah. been mad if you came to me and was like, yo, I know this is your ex, but I know you ain't got no feelings for him no more. But I'm, I'm having this nigga baby. Like, that's what it is, what it is. Like, I am. You fucked. Nah, like, there's no. Friend. Yeah, there's. Um, honestly, there's no playing alone. There's no acting dumb. That's. Yeah. Why? Why do you want to act dumb? Do you care for her? Is that like your. Like, you want to act dumb because you just don't care that much? You should be oblivious to see how far she's going to take it. I mean, but that's that, that's shicey on your side, too, because yeah. now, like, now y'all both just acting fucking dumb. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Why? When niggas would just, just cut this shit. Yeah. Open. And we just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a dub. Check that, bitch. It's oh, my God. I wish you the best in life, but we yeah. cannot have any. You guys are messy. <laughs> yeah. Y'all a little messy. I like you. Why? You know, you're messy. It's okay, we're all a little messy. Just mm-hmm. a little bit. This is this is me. Janae, Janae don't give me messy. I don't what? You don't give me messy. You give me classy. <laughs> you give me bonafide. First of all, don't let Janae, don't let Janae fucking fool you. <laughs> Janae was it? She. Mm-hmm. Was, Thank you. Yeah, Turkey bitch. bacon. <laughs> Janae, Thank Janae, so not much. messy, but she been in situations in college. Boy, yo, ooh, let nah, let nah. <laughs> We can make another video for stories. <laughs> ooh, nice. well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope you were inspired. I hope I helped y'all with y'all little messy situation. <laughs> messy, <laughs> your messy situation. Mm. Yeah, well, be safe. Thanks. The next episode, like, like the comment, season. subscribe. <laughs> Let's just take a thumbnail really quick, so we just gotta be real still. Okay. Wait, so, I know. I know. Pop up. Okay, come. <laughs> we're not actually gonna take not a picture. Actually. We're just gonna we're just gonna stay stuck. Hold on. We're all good.